What's up guys, I Ed here and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a login system which connects with a database uh, which is using MySQL. So what you're going to need for this is a server host or whether it can be on your PC or a public host, uh, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to be using a local one for this tutorial, so I'm going to be running a private window real quick going to my local host php my admin here i go and i'll be creating a not this one i'll be creating a database for this tutorial i'm going to be calling it tut and it will have a table with users and have three columns and the first one will be ID the last one will be password and this one will be username these are both stored as varchar and have a maximum of 50 characters and this one will be a primary key and how to increment it so this should be it. There's a save button, there it is. Okay, so this is saved now. So let's get into the coding. So what I want to do is you first need something. So it's called connector slash dot net. And you'll need to install it to be able to follow along with this tutorial. Or use the code. So what you want to do is go to references, add reference, and I have it it's data, MySQL data. So I want to go into the code. Okay, we don't need this really. So I'm going to be deleting all this. Besides the last one, I'm going to be deleting all it, all of it. So what we need is using, uh, not system, sorry, MySQL.data.MySQL client. And what I'm going to do is go to here and create a few private things. The first one is a MySQL connection. Second one will be a string and I'm gonna copy this so I don't have to type it all over again. The first one will be server, the second one will be database, the next one will be UID and next one will be password. And right here I'm going to give them all a uh, the string they the uh, the string that they will carry so the first one is localhost it would be for example the ip of your server the database which i just created which was um, what was it tut the uid which is root for me you can check the user here it says root at localhost for me uh, however, you could also create a user with permission only to access the specific table or database because uh, it will prevent it from hackers being able to change the database. Let's say, for instance, it has only read, uh, so read only permission. Uh, so means then a hacker, it doesn't use him really uh, anything if he can read the database well, but he can change it anyways. Password? Well, unless uh, they have credit card numbers and stuff in there, but let's say it's just a password hash uh, or username and the ID, like in this case, it won't use you anything. So, next thing we want to do is... Oh, right, I forgot something. We need a string, connection string, and const string is equal to server equals database equals uid equals uh, password and here we're gonna input server we can copy this for each of them database i always forget the a and while doing this tutorial i always forgot the a in database like this so this is the connection string and we make a connection using our connection string. So once once we got uh, that, we want to do first the login and register 
let me first do the register. Um, we want to do the register boolean. So I'm going to call here register and we'll give it the user. So text box user dot text and the password, of course, like this, but not button register, just register. Uh, it showed me button because I don't have a register yet. So I'll make a public bool string user string pass. Right, it doesn't return anything yet. So I want to make a string called query and it's equal to insert into users id comma what else do we have username password the values nothing for the id however user so means we inserting into the table users for id username and password nothing or user which we gave to the bool and the pass also which co both come from our text boxes so then we try to do this um, to do the following open connection and we don't have an open connection yet which is also bool try open if we can open the connection we return a true and we catch mysql uh, exception and switch the case so if the number of the error is zero then we make a message box pop up which says no connection or connection to the server failed break case it is a one zero four five we show message box which says a server username or password is incorrect return false like this so it's neither one of these we just return as false but we know it didn't work so open connection if it uh, opened the connection we can continue so mysql command cmd is a new mysql command with query and our connection and we try to cmd execute the connection which is a non-query uh, the function is called execute non-query and we return true if it worked however if we catch an exception uh, we return a false and also if we didn't have a connection we close the connection and return a false and if we caught an error we also close the connection and we return a false and what is left to do is the is login which is also a bool if is login string user string pass let's copy the query because it's uh, similar or we can use some of these here select everything from users where username is equal to oops and password is equal to and now we try again if it's uh, the connection opens make a mysql comment cmd equals new mysql comment query connection and we need a mysql data reader cmd dot execute reader 
And we need another if statement. If the reader reads, it means for us that it's successful. So we close the reader and close the connection and we can return a true else return false and also else we return a false and of course if we catch an exception we do the same thing here okay so now does this one belong to this one no oh it's oh yeah okay so i understand that so when we try to register we do before that uh, actually let's make a string user equal to this and string pass equals to I like it more this way and uh, instead of just calling the function and getting nothing from it we need of course an information if it was successful message box dot show user user has been created else has not been created and let's get over to the login button let's keep this on because it will probably be similar user will say welcome user however we do is login user does not exist or password is incorrect so now we should be able to view we should be able to view the database i'm gonna run this so apparently i managed to build it as an 32-bit uh, application so here it is and i'll try to make an account for it so i first go register it's gonna to say okay something is wrong in the code or is it okay guys so i found the problem was that it said local host but it's local host so i'm gonna run it now and it should be working hope I don't have a breakpoint anywhere set I don't so I'm gonna register user test has been created now I can go here and look at it there's test and now I can log in okay test does not exist uh, let's debug that one really quick too okay this time it worked I don't know maybe let me try again uh, without the breakpoint of course test what was it? test one two three Okay, welcome test. So, you see it works. So, I thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Peace out.